speaking about his decision to stick around at PSG. And he said, for who? For himself? No, for PSG. Yes, he made the right choice for PSG, not for himself, because he put himself in the position where he is bigger than the club. And the club gave him the keys to everything. Well, you're never bigger than your club. But when a child becomes strong, when a child becomes strong, he can easily produce income. So his parents become lawyers, <laughs> agents, coaches. That's the problem. And when that happens, you lose control of who you are and your identity. With this new generation, the parents think they've become stars. They even talk in the newspapers. But who do they think they are? Jules, your reaction to what Ibra had to say? Yeah, I mean, good Ibra. I mean, the whole interview, really, uh, even saying that since he left, you know, Paris, France missed him and that there's nothing in France left since he left the country. Um, this is pure Ibra. I think a lot of us would agree with what he had to say about Mbappé or certainly some of it, uh, that he's not bigger than the club, that the club gave him everything and maybe that was not the right thing to do. Maybe even Kylian, I mean, they, there's there's other quotes from, from Ibra where he said that basically Kylian should not have stayed and should have left and gone to Real Madrid, which I can also understand. That's his opinion, but it's the way he delivers it as well. I think he knows the Mbappé family, the Mbappé, Mbappé's parents. I think him and Kylian have spoken many times about Kylian's future as well, and I think Ibra gave him some advice too before. He's entitled of his opinions, of course. There's some that I share, others that I think maybe went a little bit too far. Uh, because I, I don't think that Mbappé's parents are a bad influence on him. I just think that Kylian, in his own personality, has high ambition and and certainly got everything he wanted through the summer. Nadem, you had a quizzical look on your face when I read out what Zlatan said. Did I? No, you no, did. no, 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 <laughs> not Ibra, no way. No, he's, he has a lot of uh, self-confidence, as we all know, and he's very good at sharing his opinions and trying to describe them really well. Don't necessarily agree with every single bit of it, because, you know, he says no player's bigger than the club, but I've seen him carry himself sometimes as if he is bigger than a club especially in the MLS, <laughs> but I don't want to go into that. But anyway, um, I think, you know, he has his opinions and he's, some of the stuff he's saying, as Jules said, agreed with that, it, it kind of makes sense, but he's not shy, is he? He's prepared to go at anyone and express his opinions and doesn't care at all how many feathers it ruffles. And in some ways, fair play to him because that made him the player that he is today. But then in the same breath, I'm always very reluctant as like an older player saying this generation and that generation. Because if he was in Mbappe's shoes right now at this sort of age in this time, maybe he would have done the same things. So let's just have a bit more respect for the change that exists in the world than within football players. Mm. So it's like a bit of bad blood there. Well, yeah, there, like there may be a history between Nato and Ibra. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe some things have happened in the past. I, I, I would suggest, by the way, my dad, who was a lawyer before... I became a player. Maybe he made the wrong decision because maybe he thought that he was going to make money with me as a player. That failed miserably. <laughs> that didn't work out. <laughs> uh, listen, I, I um, to Juice's point, you, you want to agree with, with, with Zlatan. You really do. And a lot of what he says, you, you, can, you can agree with. But coming from a player who refers to himself as God, you, it, it kind of taints the message a little bit in speaking about a player who sees himself as bigger than the club when time and time again he's done interviews and, and, and given you that, that, that impression about himself. Where I think it differs is when he starts talking about Killian's and family and, and their own influence on his career and the club and their representation. He never got that feeling about Ibrahimovic and his family. But other than that, so much of what he's seeing or accusing Killian of you get the impression that he was guilty of himself as a player. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.